welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Colleen and this is Baca Bee Stitches and this is Floss Tube number 23. So it's good to be back. Um, unfortunately, I haven't filmed in a couple weeks. Um, lots going on, but mostly it was because um, about a week and a half ago, my husband and I decided to get outside to do some yard work and some projects. And somehow, somewhere, I got into either some poison ivy or some poison oak. And I'm telling you, I've never had it before. Um, and luckily, not luckily, but I had a brother that I could kind of fall back on who has had a bad case of it before. It's awful. It's like having burns and you just want to itch yourself to death. But I had it all over both legs, um, my right arm almost completely. Um, and I had a little spot right here on my face and a couple of small spots over here. But I didn't know, so I went and got some over-the-counter stuff. And I didn't know that, I thought like once you washed off, like you were good to go but not knowing that like if it weeps it can spread and so like every morning I would wake up and I'm like that wasn't there yesterday why do I have more and so I was pretty covered with it and so my best advice is if you ever get poison ivy oak whatever skip the order for the counter stuff and just call your doctor or see your doctor because they ended up giving me some steroid cream and that was for my brother's suggestion he was like hey maybe try this over the counter but um your best bet he's like i had to go get a steroid shot so my doctor gave me the choice and i went for the cream and i'm telling you i'm so mad at myself for waiting because within about a day and a half like at least I, like it was bearable and like the redness really went down in like those like boils and really it's almost kind of like having a burn it was so bad but um primarily why I didn't I mean I wasn't feeling good but I had that spot right here on my face and that just didn't look good so <laughs> I just was like okay I'll just wait till I'm feeling a little bit better but yeah so that was an event and then other than that everything has been good here um weather's been pretty nice in Texas getting a lot of lot of rain so the grass grows really fast so lots of yard work and um pups are doing good um jazz in, Sam, um, last week, Sam, Jazz and them were playing and Jazz scratched Sam's eye again. So he's on drops for seven days. And then two days later, he must have decided it was brotherly payback because um, he somehow they were playing outside and when Jazz came in, one of her eyes was all messed up. So um, luckily hers wasn't scratched. He, just, he must have just fell on her or something, but it looked bad. But the, the vet was like, no. So a couple of days on drops and she's back to normal too. So always something, but you know, we love them. So yeah, so I have a whole bunch of things. One good thing that comes from laying in bed for a few days is um, you peruse looking for stash. So I do have a few stash things to show today. Some of my work's in progress. Um, I really didn't get a lot of stitching done, but I do have two frame finishes and I did reframe um, Tudor B so I can show that one finished today. So. But first, the first thing I'll share um, on Saturday is my husband, husband and I um, 11th wedding anniversary. So it's so hard to believe 11 years um, has gone by. And I'll just, a quick story before we get into the good stuff. Um, my husband and I actually met um, in Iraq. We both worked um, as medical, we were both nurses. And um, I worked up in the hospital and he worked down at what we call the wire, which is actually, it was an Iraqi prison. And then um, halfway through our tour, I moved from the hospital down to the prison and we ended up working together. So like long story short, um, that's how we met. And um, we just became friends and then one thing led to another and we decided we had feelings with each other of why not get married. So 11 years later, here we are. And um, he's still in the army and I've subsequently um, finished being in the army. But I just wanna show, this is from, um, I probably finished this a few years back, but this was, um, uh, the base of it is a heart and hand pattern, but I kind of adjusted it a little bit, but it was the heart and hand Mr. and Mrs. And I just finished it into like a little ornament with a couple little buttons on the front. And then um, I added this little charm and it says forever. And I don't know where I picked that up, probably like a Michaels, probably Michaels is where I got that. But yeah, so. Um, 2010, July 24th, so um, 11 years, time flies, right? So, but yeah, and then next week, I'm gonna be going to visit my family in Michigan. 
So I'll be gone for about a week, but when I come back, that week that I come back is my birthday week. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway because I'm gonna be turning 50, <laughs> egads. <laughs> but again, where does time go? So yeah, so that'll be fun. So I'll have some fun stuff. And then I'm hoping while I'm up there to maybe, um, I have a lot of my stitch pieces up there in Michigan. So maybe do like a little, um, like parade of like my old finishes for because I've been stitching for a long time so it'll be fun to, sh to like look at some of the stuff that I did like many many years ago some of my first finishes so but yeah so I'll start today with um the first thing I'll share um I think it was a two episodes ago um I framed the smiling back jack right here behind me um from Bent Creek and so I did end up um using on the little stars that are kind of floating on the wire. I went and bought some, it's called Folk Art Glow um, Paint. And um, it actually works pretty good. Um, I've tried to take a picture, but when you try to take a picture like in the dark, it doesn't really show up, but it does work. So um, as long as during the day it's exposed to enough, enough light, or if you shine a light on it, then turn the lights off, the stars do glow. So it's kind of fun. Um, and then I put some little dots on the frame of it too. So, like I said, I was going to try and take a picture and post it on Instagram, but it just, I can't, like, translate what I'm seeing <laughs> through my camera. So, maybe if I had a better camera, I don't know. But just trust me, it does work, and it's kind of a fun effect. So, I might try to, like, use that um, with, I have to still frame um, a couple Halloween pieces, and I thought it would be cool to maybe cut a stencil with words and use the like paint on the words. So like maybe paint them like a color, let's say like yellow. And then with the same stencil after the yellow is dry, um, paint the glow over top of it. So that way when the lights go out, the words will glow. So that'll be kind of like a fun experiment, like for later on, maybe like in a couple months. But yeah, so I will start first. Um, so some stash stuff that I got. Um, and I will just say, um, I'm doing that stitch along from Owl Forest. It's the Alice in Wonderland. So part seven is out now. So I'm actually three parts behind. <laughs> but um, this weekend is 24 hours of cross stitch. So I am definitely going to try and make up for some lost ground over the last two weeks. So I am participating. So um, actually these little sections go pretty quickly. So I'm hoping to try and get Alice caught up. But I'll post a link below um, if you wanna see how like that, the whole, it's kinda hard to see right here, but how that whole, um, pattern is progressing, but yeah, I really like it. I just need to get caught up. So that was the first thing that I uh, downloaded. And of course, that's a free stitch along, which is so generous, but yeah, so fun. And then um, on um, Instagram, I follow an account. Um, it's called Stitchy Princess. Um, and she has some really cute patterns. And I'll post um, the picture right here just because it, I didn't print. Um, I try not to use my color printer cartridge too much so I don't post or print the color photo from the PDF download but um so I'll post the picture right here but the first one that I downloaded from her was winter forest and it's really cute it has like a hare and a deer and some um a fox and yeah so and I really like the color so that was the first one that I um downloaded for her and she had a sale so I ordered a couple patterns and um then the other one that I hope that I purchased from her is called Magical Swamp. And this one has, um, it's, there's like some maybe storks or egrets um, and some frogs. So of course I love the frogs, but yeah, so it was called Magical Swamp. And um, I'll post the link below to her Instagram and um, her Etsy store. Just, I just, she has a lot of cute things and um, I kind of just discovered her. So yeah, um, if you get a chance, maybe check her out if you already, no, don't know about her. Um, like I said, I had just happened to see her stuff on Instagram and those two just caught my eye. So probably the first two, but not the last two that I'll order there. So yeah, I just like to um, support whoever I can. And then this one, um, I ran out of some floss yesterday. I'm working on a um, birthday gift for somebody and I ran out of floss. So um, it was a good excuse to buy this pattern, but I saw this on Instagram um, I'm gonna put a link to her account just because she's a very prolific stitcher. She stitches, 
I, I wouldn't say maybe really quickly because her work is beautiful, but she gets a lot done like in a day. <laughs> and I'm always amazed at like the things she posts, beautiful pictures, but currently she's working on this and it's Let It Snow from, I think it's Ori TM. Um, so I saw it and as soon as I saw her like work in progress, I wanted to get this one and just put it away for later. So yeah, I'll give you a link to her Instagram account because like I said, I just like watching her progress. She has so many like beautiful pictures and she's a very quick stitcher, but her work is, is beautiful. And I'm, oh, sorry. Her Instagram is um, May May and maybe some numbers, but I'll put a, put a link below. But yeah, so I'm always just like to share um, different people that I run across that you might like too. And then, um, this isn't necessarily stitching related, but I wanted to share this. Um, and I'll put the, a picture right here for you to see. Another Instagram that I wanna give a shout out to um, is, I'm a pet lover. I love to watch like dog videos, cat videos, even though I don't own cats, but um, definitely an animal lover. But yeah, I always like to watch Instagram, like funny animal clips, like the funny things animals do. But I happen to come across this account and it's called Frog Dog, I think it's Frog Dog Photography, but I'll put a link below. But um, here's a couple pictures of some of, it's a pet photographer and I wish I lived closer to this person because my dogs would be there in a heartbeat. I just love photography and I could look at these pet photos all day because it really has a knack for evoking like a, like a feel of the personality, almost like a personification of each animal. Like you could literally envision what this pet would look like as a person. So yeah, so you might be interested. I don't know if you find them as cute as I do, but I really like this. So I just wanted to give a shout out, not affiliated. I actually just happened to find them last week, but for anybody that's an animal lover, it's just one to check out. So, okay, so next, um, this is a book I just ordered from Hershner's and it's from Craftways. I think these books are so quality. Um, and you can, I won't um, reinvent the wheel here. If you like search, you can always find people that do um, flip throughs on these. So I won't like do that again. But right now, Hershner's has this particular book half off. So it was only like $18. Plus, if you search for some coupon codes, you can find more discounts. So I think this only costs $22, $23 maybe with shipping. So, but um, there's many, many cute um, projects in this book, but I'm just gonna show a couple quick that I know I definitely will probably, definitely, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the story of my life, definitely, probably. But, um, so the first one, these are some ornaments and they're kind of vintage looking. So there's like a reindeer, a Santa, some doves, an ornament, but those would make really great gift tags. And I always thought maybe if you found the right like wrapping paper to go with them, but I just liked how they kind of looked re retro. So those are some that I would have definitely put on my to-do list eventually. And then this is what I really bought it for, was this pattern, and this is from Michelle Lutzen, and I think that this used to be um, Stitchy Kitty, but I really like that pattern. And the only thing I might change is instead of using black, using a more Christmassy color, maybe like a dark red, but definitely that one. But the bird next door is real cute too. So there was those two that I had marked. And then I doubt this is something that I would ever have time to stitch because I have so many things on my to-do list, but here are two really cute stockings. Um, there's a cat and then a dog one, but really, really cute. And like I said, I don't know that I'd ever have time like to actually do those, but you never know. But I just wanted to mention that they were in there for dog and cat lovers. And then um, I really like this pattern, the two deer. I thought that one was really cute for the holidays. And then the last one that I had marked um, is, sorry, oops, I put it on the wrong page. Um, oh, sorry. Is this one right here called Wintery Teal. It's kind of hard to see but it's just um, kind of like a motive pattern, but I just really like the colors that they use. So that one's definitely a, um, a book that I was looking for for a good deal on. And if you, like I said, go to Hershey's right now, they have it marked half off. And then they have another one there too for only like $8 from Craftways. So um, I have my eye out though for this year's and I haven't seen it for sale anywhere yet. So I'm not sure if it's out yet. Um, there is a flip through, somebody on YouTube, I'll, I'll link it below if I can find it. Um, I think it was Seazook that did a flip through. Um, she has a copy of the 2021 and there's a couple cute patterns in there I'd like to have too. So, but yeah, I'll link it below. So that was another thing that I got. And then of course picked up the 
um, most current issue of Just Cross Stitch. And of course, right from the cover, I really like the cover pattern. Um, that's one I could definitely um, use for my nautical bathroom. And then of course, the reason why I've been picking it up this year is to um, get the Quaker sampler. I really like how that one's progressing. So I think I'll eventually, I wanted to kind of wait until there was a couple parts out to see what it all looked like and I do like it. So I'll, I'll eventually stitch that I'm sure. And then last but not least um, was the cross stitch Halloween issue. And just a couple things that for me, I won't do a total spoiler alert if you don't have your copy yet, but um, I do really like this um, Hello Kitty surprise. I just love the colors. So that's a cute one. And then, and there's a lot, I didn't mark all the ornaments, but there's many um, cute Halloween ornaments in there. And then this one, I don't know if I would stitch it um, all in a row right with the cat, but the pumpkins on this one, current mood, it's, it's a super cute pattern. But I really love the um, pumpkin faces on those. So those would be cute maybe to just to stitch the pumpkin for like little individual ornaments. And then um, this one is from Rosewood um, Manor. This is the one I really like the most. Um, it's called Blackbirds on a Pumpkin. But yeah, I really like that one. So, but like I said, these issues, there's always multiple things that I mark with little post-its. <laughs> I have many issues back there that are have all kinds of things waiting to be um, stitched. But, um, but yeah, so that was pretty much it as far as um, stash enhancement for this week. Um, the only other thing I'll show um, as far as stashes, I did get a couple new needle minders, but I'll show those as I show my work in progress. So um, as I get to my work in progress, I just wanted to share. So, so far this year, um, I had made myself like a mini challenge to try and get at least one like smaller cross stitch done a week. And so I'm actually doing pretty good. Um, I have one for every week through June. So I am a little bit behind, but if I, finish a couple of these work in progress, I'll be able to catch up. And then plus with vacation, I plan on doing some major stitching. <laughs> so, um, so not too bad. So I've actually kept up way better than I thought I would. Um, now I just have to get better at um, making sure we're getting on YouTube every week. But as far as um, framing, um, everything that I finished this year, with the exception of um, three things, I've completely framed. So I think the week that I come home from my birthday, I'm just gonna do a um, finishes parade, like a frame parade of all the things that I got done for the first half of the year and then closer to Christmas, like for the second half. And then maybe like a year on review or something. But yeah, so I just wanted to share like that um, I'm doing pretty good with those stitching goals. So the first one I'm gonna show um, for my works in progress, I'm not gonna share the name of the pattern yet. I'll share next week. Um, only because it would completely give away, like, it's a, it's a gift. But I'll show my progress, and then next week I'll divulge the name of the pattern. But it's coming along really cute, so this is how far I am. And I would say I'm about three quarters of the way done. And then the little needle minder that I got, I don't know if you can tell, it says books. But it's super cute. So it kind of goes along with the theme. It's a, like a lady holding a book, and there's a little cat. And this one, um, I borrowed the pattern from a friend. Um, but I did do a lot of color changes. So once I finish this, I'll post my color conversions um, just because I was trying to like fit up an aesthetic. So once I finish this, I can't wait to show this one framed because um, I kind of came up with a cute idea, I hope, <laughs> if it turns out, um, of how to frame this one up. So yeah, I purposely left this blank down there because I didn't want to give away like what this is supposed to be. But so yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how far I got on this one, but I ran out of the blue. Um, I'm using, um, it's a crescent color, so I had to go get another skein so I could finish this little, last little bit of the dress. So, but that, a super fun stitch. So, I can say though, that is, it's a pattern from La Dida. <laughs> I think, I don't think it's currently in print, but I'll look, if I can find the pattern, I'll link it below. So, my next um, work in progress is from Hands on Design and it's Resting Beach Face. And I had really hoped to get this one done. I was kind of on a roll and then I caught poison ivy <laughs> and that was no fun. So I'm almost done. All I have left to do actually is just fill in the white and then put rusting across the top. So getting close to done. So the next time um, I show this one, it should be finished and maybe hopefully, well, probably not framed since I'm gonna be leaving next week, but definitely finished. So maybe um, from Michigan, I'll post on Instagram, finished. And then this is the other needle minder that I got. It's a little bee with a honeycomb. 
it's super cute. So there is that one. And then my last, the only thing that I put some more stitches in is my Jardin Privy um, temperature calendar. And this was like a free um, pattern that they offered, not last year, I think, but the year before, um, 2020. So I guess, yes, that's last year. Yeah, I, th I think it was last year. But I'll, I'll link um, below, and I've done it before. But I'm almost through m March, right? Yeah, only March. So I'm behind, but... I'm slowly getting caught up. So I have all the colors of the houses in for most of it. And I think I'm through the 17th. So that was St. Patrick's Day. There's some trees. So you can kind of tell though, like it was the blues are kind of cooler. And then the greens are kind of mid temperatures. And you can tell it's starting to get a little hotter in Texas as it turns yellow. And then it'll go to reds. Um, probably the last couple of months, there's going to be some red houses in there. But yeah, this is going to be a fun stitch. I just need to get caught up. And then that was my little, um, my last little needle minder. It's a little dog. And around the edge it says Cool Dogs Club. So I just had to get that one. So, but yeah, so again, I'll link the, um, uh, below to the, the free pattern. And I'm modeling mine after, it's a little bit different than how they show in the pattern. But if you go to their Instagram, which I'll link below, you can see I'm modeling like my Rosa houses after they're finished because I really liked it. So, yeah, so that's pretty much the only stitching that I got done. Um, like I said, uh, hopefully with this 24 hours of cross stitch this weekend, um, I'll be able to put some major dent in my stitching. But, um, and then of course with vacation. But so for frame finishes this week, so my first frame finish, um, this is a, a finish in progress. Um, but this was the um, stick, stitch along from um, Primrose Cottages and it was the Be Happy. So the frame's all cut. Um, you can see I filled the edges and sanded it, but um, I just need to decorate this one. But I have the frame all cut, and I probably meant to get farther on this than I did, but like I said, it is what it is. Um, so probably by the time I come back from vacation, I'll probably have, because I have the frame for Garden of Dreams from Barbara Anna almost finished, and I have um, a couple other smaller ones, and July from Crochetta Agogo. And then hopefully their next four will be coming out for September, October, November, December. So I'll share those too. But um, so the next finish, this was um, also from Jardin Privy. It was Be You, Just You. And so that's how it came out. So this frame, um, I decided to just go more plain with it. Um, this frame was actually um, just a Goodwill frame. Probably cost me like three bucks, four bucks, but I cut it down. And um, what I did was I used some gel stain to like fill these little ridges so that you can kind of dress up a frame. So it was just plain flat green. So you just rub some gel in there and then take a paper towel and wipe it off and it kind of, the rest of the gel stays down in those ridges. Kind of just gives it a little extra carrier character. <laughs> and then on the inside, I just added, it's a wood um, fillet. So very inexpensive, you just cut down a piece of wood and then I just painted it two-tone. So I gave it like a little blue lip just to kind of add to like the blue on the inside in the sky. But yeah, so that one's really cute. So I'm super excited to get this one hung up. And then I just added some cute little um, daisy sunflower or some daisy flowers um, paper on the back to kind of just add to it. So I just need to put a hanger on this one, but it's ready to get hang up. So yeah, from Jardin Preview, be you just you. And then finally, this was from um, the Blue Flower, and this is a reframe. So I'm not sure if it was the last floss tube, if it was 22 or 21, that I finished it, and I had picked up like a frame and kind of experimented with it. And it wasn't bad, but to me it just wasn't what I wanted. So I ended up just kind of going a little bit plainer, but this is how it turned out. So this is um, Tudor B from the Blue Flower, and then I used um, DMC Gentle Art and some Weeks Dye Works Flosses. And then this molding right here, I just picked up at the local like lumber yard. And it kind of has, you can kind of see it's like, like a leafy, like a vine. And this wood, the way it comes, it's kind of like um, stamped into the wood. So what I did was I just painted it the color green that I wanted and then used a darker green but mixed it with some gel so that when I smeared it across there, it would go down into those um, 
like the ridges that they stamped into the wood and then you just wipe off the excess so that way like the vine looks darker than the other green below and then I just kind of gave it like a rustic kind of like outer rubbed frame but I really am much more happy with this now because now to me like the this kind of just gives it a little bit of an accent and picks up like the vine but you really focus on the stitching and not so much the, the frame <laughs> and with the last one it was the other way around but yeah so this was from blue flower the tudor bee and yeah i have a bunch more of blue flower patterns in my stash that one of these days i need to get to um, hopefully sooner than later but yeah um and then um, if anybody wants on Instagram, um, you can always message me. I'll post, or I can even post below, um, the colors that I used for my conversion. So, um, like I said, I always try to use, not always, but try to use sometimes what I have on hand. Um, not so much that I like don't want to purchase the suggested materials, but sometimes I'm too anxious to start and I don't want to wait. <laughs> and that was the case with that one. As soon as that pattern came, I'm like, I don't care. I'm starting this because I just I really liked it and wanted to start. So, yeah, so my um, conversion only came out of um, really just wanting to start. So but I'll share with it because there's a couple people that have asked so I can share below. Um, what I use. So yeah, so that's pretty much about it. Um, I do apologize again that it's been a couple weeks. Um, I always have fun doing these no matter what and um, just sharing what I got going even if it's not a lot or whatever and just kind of connecting with people to me it's just fun. So yeah, so like I said busy week the rest of this week. Um, Tuesday I leave. Um, pray for Sam and Jazz. I'm leaving them alone with their dad for a whole week. Um, I already sat them down and said there may just be a 50-50 chance only one of you will be here <laughs> when I get back. Um, I'm going to try and teach them maybe to, how, how to call me if they need food or water. I don't know. But no, they'll be fine. But yeah, I'm going to miss them a lot. And yeah, so then I'll, I'll be um, at home for a week. But I'm super excited though too because there's um, some lovely needle workshops. Um, up in Michigan. So I'm going to try and go to Stitches and Things in Fenton um, and the Stitching Well in Bay City and then um, Stitch and Time in Saginaw. So those are the three that are kind of local to that area. So um, I'm definitely going to try and stop and see everybody at all three and do some little stash enhancement. And then like I said, just spend some time with my family. It's going to be fun to see them. I haven't seen them since Christmas two years ago. So yeah, so yeah, let me know what you're um, gonna be doing if you're participating in the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch this weekend. Um, what you got going, works in progress. I'm always um, looking on the lookout for new fun patterns or stuff like that. Um, and then um, also too, um, just like an FYI, it's kind of short notice, but our local, my local needle workshop, Needleworks, is doing a stitching retreat this weekend. So I don't know if anybody watching is going to that, but um, share your experience. Um, like I said, it was bad timing for me as I was going out of town already. But um, I do eventually, uh, hopefully with um, the whole Corona thing, being able to um, participate more, you know, and get togethers like that where they don't have to be all virtual. But, um, but virtual is okay too. Um, I still like connecting with people and, you know, seeing what, what they're doing. So whether by video or in person, but in person, it's always fun. You just make those personal connections. So, but yeah, so otherwise, um, I hope that you have a great week and weekend. Again, I'll probably be back, I would guess about August 5th, um, because I come home, um, like I said, the following Tuesday. So um, hopefully I'll have a whole bunch of things to share um, from stash buying and maybe some finishes and then yeah I'll be doing a giveaway um, for my birthday so be sure to watch um, Floss 24 and it'll just work the same way you just have to um, subscribe and comment on the video and um, you'll be entered into a drawing since I'm turning 50 I'm gonna do two $25 gift certificates so we can have two winners um, to share in the 50 <laughs> If that's if that'll work so but anyways um i hope that you're doing great i hope you have a great weekend and happy stitching bye